Hello there, welcome to my broadcast. Thank you for joining me. Flip this around. Hi there. Uh, my name is Julie from Julianne's Gallery. I am an artist based in the UK and I'm going to show you today how to paint a painting like this with one of these. So, um, so I paint with beeswax. Hello there, welcome whoever's just joined. I paint with beeswax. Hello Rick's Flicks. And um, yeah, I'm going to do a little art scope and show you um, how to do some painting with these wax blocks. Um, welcome to all of those of you joining on. Um, people are flying by quicker than I can post. So I'm going to show you how to paint one of these. So I don't know if any of you have been on any of my scopes before or seen um, me painting with an iron. Um, I have I've done a few of these in the past, um, so I'm going to show you basically how to paint with one of these. So has anybody here ever heard of encaustic wax before? First question. Um, I paint with, um, a lot of people haven't heard of it, um, it's basically painting with beeswax. No, so you're in for a treat. So painting with beeswax is really, really therapeutic, it's beautiful stuff. No, no, never seen before. Oh, you have. So Guy Girl Jojo has seen it before. Excellent. So very, very few people have heard of it. So um, you're an acrylic painter. Oh, I love acrylic as well. Um, I paint with all kinds of mediums, but I came across encaustic wax and it is just, I've, it's just stuck with it. I love it. It's beautiful stuff. Um, let me flip this around. I'll quickly show you the... Um, um, so this is the arts encaustic um, stuff, which I'm going to show you today. So this is painting with an iron. So it's called encaustic art. Um, so I'm going to show you that. There's another style as well which I use which is um, called R and F which is a, it's a whole other process. You paint that with a paintbrush. Um, but what I'm going to show you today is this painting using an encaustic iron with, um, with these wax blocks here. I'm going, to say we're going to, I'm going to show you how to build this up into one of these kinds of pictures. So I'm going to, just a quick scope, turn this around for you. So it's a quick scope. I'm in my studio. Um, I am here in the UK. So I'm going to just, I'm going to crack on with the, with the scope and show you how I do this. So let me just wiggle this around a minute because you can't set this up beforehand so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now when I'm painting this on, I have to keep it horizontal because if I pick it up too quickly, the wax will run. So basically I'm going to heat them up the wax and then um, move it around. So I will keep stopping and picking up for you to see. So um, apologize if you can't, uh, you know, bear with me and it will all come together. This is new to you. Right. Good, good. So we're going to show you something new. So basically this is a, it's a particular um, art iron. It's got a very, very constant, steady um, thermostat on it. So it doesn't get, it doesn't kind of cut in and out, get very hot and very cool um, quickly. So it's got a real nice steady thermostat. So it's, um, and everybody always asks, can I use my iron at home? Um, you don't want anything with any holes in it. Uh, but I have seen people use um, household irons on other um, videos, but it's not something I would recommend. I would recommend getting something if you're going to have a go, um, which does which is fit for the job. So basically, I'm um, painting on a paper. It's an arts encaustic. Oh, I've picked up some stuff on the underneath. It's an arts encaustic paper. It's a thick. It needs to be heat resistant enough to be able to withstand the heat. So I'm going to get my wax block. I'm just going to melt that on. The iron hopefully you can see i might just pick this up for you i have to hold it horizontally or it's going to run off but you can see that's gone like a really glossy lovely kind of fluid liquid color you can see that okay so <clears throat> i'm going to paste that onto the iron hope i don't run it all over me i've got to watch what i'm doing here so i apologize if i miss any comments i'm going to add a couple of other colors as well and then we're basically going to flip that over and smooth it across the page. Welcome there, those of you who are joining. Thank you for joining on my scope. So I'm going to show you a little bit of an art scope today and show you how I paint with um, with an iron. So if you can see that, it's kind of going on. So you see, as it's glossy, it kind of goes matte as soon as it's cool. Whoops. set myself up straight so as soon as that's cooled it's it's effectively dry so um if you don't you can start you start to rework into this now so what we're going to do first of all is cover the pet the whole paper and um then we're going to start working into it so say it's on here i'm going to fill the whole page with this with this wax and you'll see hopefully if i get the light right without throwing this on me you'll see as it's so that's cooled already. 
Um, I'm going to do the next one, try and pick it up a bit quicker and you can actually watch it cooling. Um, you'll see it goes from being very glossy to, if you watch that now, you'll see it as it is pretty much sort of setting and cooling. Hopefully, you, can you see that okay? And now that's gone matte and matte is now, as I say, that's now cool in that time there. So you can see as it, uh, it's just the, the heating process. So once you've kind of got quite a nice covering on your page, you're then going to start to manipulate that wax around. So don't worry about what you've got initially. Um, and then we're going to place the iron across. And all I'm going to do now is start to use the heat of the iron to move that wax around. I'm going to start to build into this. So this is the part I don't want to pick up too quickly. I'm going to make sure it's cooled first. There. So I've kind of got quite an interesting sort of skyline kind of going up from along the top here. And I'm going to start to continue now to work into this. So I'm going to use different parts of the iron to get different effects. So bear with me. I have to kind of concentrate on what I'm doing here. Otherwise, so I might miss comments if anybody's putting anything in. I'm going to start to build up some of these kind of, see these kind of sea, this basically like a fantasy landscape I'm working on. So I'm going to put in a series of horizontal lines here now. I'm doing this quite quickly, much quicker than I would normally work at. Thank you for the hearts there, whoever was dropping those in. So Jojo, who had said they'd seen this art before, is it is this the style that you have seen before? Have you is this the same kind of techniques? There's so many different things you can do with it. You can paint with this stuff with a stylus, with a hot air gun. Um, there's loads. It's really really versatile. It's lovely stuff. You get really nice lights and darks in it, depending on what colours you you use. So this part kind of takes a little bit of time, but can you see I'm beginning to. Um, build up along here. Iron a shirt. <laughs> I don't like ironing shirts. I like ironing paint uh, wax though. So you can't, the thing with doing this, you've got you have an iron and wax blood. Sorry, I missed who said that. Somebody said that they. I, I just missed that. I read the the um, comment that you've got iron and blocks. So uh, let me know if this is the same kind of. Um, techniques that you use with this and what kind of paintings you do oh it's Jojo yay excellent so do you do these kinds of fantasy landscapes or do you um, just play around and get because you get some beautiful abstract creations with them as well um, all sorts of different things it's great to meet same technique yeah fab 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 it's great to meet some other people that use it because um there are very, there aren't that many people that do use it and are you based in the uk jojo or are you um in the states or abroad <clears throat> so let's see we're starting to so it's, very, it's um it's more widely known as i understand in the states and canada than it is in the uk oh you're in the uk too excellent whereabouts um there are not many of us in the UK. Sounds like we're quite a rare breed, although we're getting more popular in time. And do you do it for fun? Or do you? I'm, I'm finding out all about you now. So we're going to continue building this up. Cumbria. Oh, OK. Up north. Ah, I've had a few people from up north contact me because they're struggling to get the supplies. So anyhow, um, so you kind of I'm using the base of the iron now. So I'm going to use this part, this kind of tip part of the iron to build up and create some sort of rocky areas. Bear with me while I do this. You won the heart tour. <laughs> Thank you for all the hearts, I appreciate them. So you can start to kind of build these up. Um, I'm gonna work into these a bit more. Um, so you can see, so by using that base of the iron and then just spreading that wax around, you can build up some quite interesting patterns so um, I'm gonna sort of continue to work into this now so now so I've, I've kind of used the base of the iron I've used the edge of the iron I've used that front tip I'm gonna kind of paint in and sculpt into it now with the tip of the iron <clears throat> so hopefully you can, can you see that okay um, 
it's quite a dark colour actually. So you start, you basically you start to build up different, oh thank you, yeah I love it, it's, it's so nice to work with. So I'm going to kind of do quite a spiky plant, my wax is quite thick here so you get different lights and darks, sorry I need to be watching the, what I'm doing here or I'm going to mess this part up. Whoa, now that has... It has, it does have a character. It's oh, it's just lovely stuff to work with. I just love the lights and darks. I think there's something really, really special about this medium. I'm kind of racing this a little bit. So I, hopefully you can see it's the the wax is quite dark there at the top. Oops, I'm just going to knock that over on my table. Um, so you, it's it's probably a little bit darker here than I would have normally liked. Um, but then that's the fun of it. Um, but you can see here where the wax is a bit thinner, um, you get these really lovely sort of lights and darks going on. So I'm just going to do another one of those, add a few more. Um, thank you for the hearts, everybody, who's tapping away there. So I'm just going to do another one of these. So hopefully you can see, so I'm kind of wiggling the page side to side and just using that tip of the iron just to build up a kind of a bit of a bushy, I'm not going for a real life plant species, I'm just kind of giving a a feel of it. Can you see that okay? Hopefully. I haven't done any for ages. Good, go and get your iron out. That's a good excuse to um yeah, get creative and uh it's I don't know. I go, sometimes go through phases. So I think you need to kind of have a little bit of a break. Somebody said they're an acrylics artist earlier. I haven't done acrylics for ages, but actually I'm kind of thinking, yeah, maybe it's time. I just love all mediums. I think they're just beautiful. So you kind of start to work into it now and kind of stand back and have a look at it as a, from a hole and um, sort of build up and just keep on, keep on building until you get something that you like the, the finished look of. Um, Painting and chatting is always uh, a bit more tricky and you don't want to be looking at the back of the painting for too long. Um, I'm going to add some foliage in that, this front area down here now and I'm going to do that by <clears throat> kind of dabbing that base of the iron on. And can you see, you can, hopefully you can see, down here now I'm kind of getting this corally effect come on. So I'm going to keep on dabbing away doing that. Bear with me, because you get to see the, the bottom of the, the iron at the minute. Uh, not the iron, the bottom of the paper. But you will see in a moment, once I turn it around, what I am doing. Some happy little foliage. We like a bit of happy foliage. So you can get these really lovely, almost sort of corally effects. Can you see Can you see that okay on there? It's difficult to see. So you kind of get dab these foliage bits on. I think I might do a few more of those. Bob Ross would be proud. Now then, Bob Ross. Do I know who Bob Ross is? Please remind me because I'm amazing wet. Thank you. I'm thinking now, Bob Ross. Do I know Bob Ross? Probably do. I'm just, uh, do you know, I'm, sometimes names don't come to me very well. One of the things I've noticed actually on Periscope is with the comments that come up, it's the paint, the pictures are to the profile pictures are so small I can't see. And afterwards, when I go back and check who they are, I can see exactly who they are. Can you see that? So hopefully you'll begin to see how I'll probably continue working into this a little bit more. But quite quickly you can build up a, a painting and um, just using an iron and some wax. So. It's a really fun medium to um, to work with, so definitely go and get your iron out and get painting, um, and uh, yeah, remember what uh, painting with wax is like. It's beautiful. I um, you can also say you can use the, this is a very sort of quick and um, simple sort of uh, landscape for you. Bob Ross, American, I think, known for his very laid back and easy style of painting. I'm going to go and check him out. Definitely, big afro hair painted wet in wet oils like capital trees. I'm going to go and check him out. Thank you for um, for sharing that. We like laid back painters. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I, the first time I used it, I saw it and I just thought I've got to find out how that works. I love it. Absolutely love it. 
So as I say, you can use a, an iron. I've got, I use, sometimes use a stylus. You can use a hot air gun. I've got a giant hot plate. Um, I'm not gonna get that one out today. Um, but yeah, lots and lots and lots of different ways of, of working with it. It's beautiful stuff. So um, yeah, I've got lots more work on my website, juliannesgallery.co.uk and uh, have a look at that. You'll find out a bit more about painting with wax. His catchphrase was, draw a happy little dot 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 dot. I'm going to um, check him out and uh, and see who he is. It's a great thing about the internet. You get connected with all these um, amazing people and places. So anyway, um, if you've got any questions, if there's anything that you'd like me to, to ask me, and um, you feel free, tap away in the comments. Other than that, I'm going to, um, I've been rearranging my studio, so I'm going to continue tidying things away, sorting things out, packing up. Um, I've got a bit of an open afternoon this afternoon in my studio, so um, people, I've sort of, I've just said I'm here in case anybody wants any bits and pieces. And then um, I will be, yeah, just having a complete and utter sort out my studio. Do you use different colours with this medium? Yeah, I've got lots and lots of different colours. So let me, oh, sorry, put my thumb across the camera. So I run workshops and I sell the supplies. They're not very easy to come by. So can you see all of these kind of different colours that you can use? Um, and then there's, there's three different there's three layers of these, so we've got everything from, you know, reds, blues, pinks, did a little there, and obviously, as one can, absolutely. Um, and then, yeah, the neons, all sorts of different colours, um, and then you can mix them as well, so um, you can blend them using the iron with your canvas, so yeah, 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 yeah. So lots and lots of different colours, it's, oh, it's just a glorious, glorious thing to work with. So I'll show you a couple of my others quickly as we're here. So these are all some of the um, RNF colours that you can get. So you, there's just a mass, mass of different colours. Um, these are just a few of the. This is a bit of an abstract one I've created with with um, with the iron. This is one that I've done with a hot plate. It's a bit more kind of urbanish. Um, you can see here really with the uh, light on it. So that's a bit more of a kind of moody. It's really versatile. You wouldn't sort of say that it's quite difficult to kind of. Um, be recognised as an artist because there's so many different styles with it but then that's what I love about it so this is another one that I've done looks like flat yeah absolutely somebody um, yeah somebody else said that they, they mentioned tulips I've got these sort of autumnal ones in behind as well so it's just a gorgeous gorgeous medium so this big one here these big ones are all done with with the iron that I've just shown you but on a an A1 size <clears throat> So um, I do these unframed and unmounted just to um, sh enable people to, you know, use their own frames and things. The one you just showed us. Oh, thank you. Which one do you mean? The one in behind? This one you meaning? Please go back to the purple. Oh, the purple one. Oh, I like this one. This, this one's called Raffita. Yeah, it's um, it's lovely. It's I just I don't know. I think it's a gorgeous shape. It's sort of a panoramic. You can put it on this. Yeah, you can kind of have it landscape or portrait. Whoops. So, uh, behind, behind, this one, the one in the frame, okay, I think you mean this one, love that one, thank you everybody, behind you, I feel like I'm in panto, behind you, behind you, <laughs> yeah, that one's called Burst, that's, um, that's, that's one called Burst, so, uh, yeah, contact me if you want any more details on it. So thank you. I love that one as well. I just love the colours and there are so, so many. Um, so I've got, yeah, they're all kind of stacked away. So um, anyway, if anybody is interested in any um, bits and pieces, do contact me. Feel free to shout. You can always pick up the phone and um, or have ch check my website out. Drop me an email. Um, I've got, I'm doing gift vouchers and things as well for Christmas. Lots of people are interested in that. So um, they've been going quite nicely. So yeah, it's been good. So as I say, this is my studio. I'm in, the, in Born End in the UK. Um, and uh, yeah, that was how we paint with wax. I will show you, in fact, let me just give you a quick screen dump, or a quick snap of my website. And those are my details on Facebook and Twitter and what have you. So um, thank you for all these hearts. That's really, really cool. So there we go. How to paint with an iron. Thank you very, very much for joining me. I'm really joining on and uh, joining my scope. Anyway, hope to catch you again soon. Thank you so much and uh, nice to see you. Take care. Enjoy your painting. <laughs> all right. All the best. Bye. Thank you.